Hey everybody, welcome to some more Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness. This is episode 9. My name is Demaster524. In the last episode, we fought the last three Hexagon Brothers. Now, before I actually get into this mystery facility, I'm gonna go through this door that we couldn't get in before. And in here, there's only two item boxes here. The first one contains three Pokeballs. And the next, the next one is actually on the other side of the same exact building, but it's further deep down, as in like... Right here. <laughs> so if you open this box, you will find yourself one super potion, which will be good for us. Alright, now that we've gotten those two items, we can actually get into this mystery facility and see if we can find Professor Crane. Alright, off we go. And we're stopped by this random Cypher Peon. Cypher Peon Corla. Why does that remind me of Corsula? I don't know. Probably kind of sounds like Coral. If you just switch the L and the A, it's Coral. So, you are now known as Coral. Coral, not Corla, just Coral. You're, you're Coral now. So, we got this Dusko and Skitty, and I sound out my Espeon and Houndour like it's no big deal. Uh, I'm just going to do Bite and Shadow Blitz, because that's back in town now. <laughs> Bite and Shadow Blitz the movie. I think I want to say this is like number four, like I've said this. Anyway, uh, Dusko goes down in no big rush because, you know, Bite's just gonna take it down because Espeon's so freaking powerful. Despite it having a really crappy nature, it's pretty powerful. Alright, so Shadow Blitz was, uh, did a little bit more than half on that Skitty, which I approve of. Um, I'm just gonna use Confusion, why not? Just why not? That'll take it down. A critical hit! Just when I don't need it. <laughs> That's Pokemon for you people. That is Pokemon for you. Well, not just Pokemon, but, you know, it's, it's the really horrible luck of Demaster524. So, yeah. That's just me. Alright, so now we can actually progress. Go down this elevator, and we end up in this little certain area. Huh. And we've got three ways to go. Well, if you try to go here, you really can't go here because this arrow indicates that you can only go in that certain direction. We could go off to this left side here, but we don't want to do that yet. We're going to go to this right side, and we're stopped by this Cypher Peon who tells us not in the run of the hall. We already had Coral just try to stop us from the ceiling, and now we have this one, this Javion or Havion or whatever, uh, ambushing us or trying to from the ceiling. But she seems to have two flying types, Dutduo and Talo. But it's okay, because I got my Houndara and Espeon, and we're going to crush these two. So I'm going to use Confusion on Duo and use Shadow Blitz on Talo, and we're set. Yeah, really. Um, I do want to talk about this one certain area. Um, not one certain area, but this, like, this, like, lab facility type of thing. Uh, when Pokemon Coliseum came out, it, you know, there, this is the same design as Pokemon Coliseum, so there's like the same route and everything. Just like different variations of it, like you can go one certain way, but you can't go another way. But um, anyway, when I first played Coliseum, because you know, I had Coliseum before XD, uh, I was very confused as to where to go. I mean, I just kind of went in all certain directions I could possibly go to, and for some reason I couldn't figure out where I was supposed to go. It was just like a certain maze that I just couldn't get by. Plus, I was like 10 years old at the time, so I really didn't know much about strategy. Um, even though I played like Legend of Zelda a lot, even though I still do now. <laughs> but uh, it's just kind of one of those things to where I had really had to focus. I mean, I didn't have like an older brother or anyone else that could possibly help me. So I had to figure it out all on my own. And once I did, I just practiced and practiced and practiced. And I got this thing down. And then XD, when it came out, I was just all up on it. I did. I knew where to go. I knew what to do, and it was just, it was just perfect. But anyway, we're stopped by the Cipher R and D. His name is Mesak. Is that his name? Anyway, he seems to have Generation Three Fossil Pokemon, uh, Anorith and the Leap. But I got my Espeon and Houndour. I mean, yuck! You can't take down those two. This is like one of the most perfect teams, even though Houndour is Shadow Pokemon. But that's okay. Um. Let's do Shadow Blitz. I really should have used Ember to try to see if I can get that burn on the Lalip since it's a tank. Because Lalip's more uh, defensive uh, than special defensive. And Anorith became confused. I want to. I'm praying that you can hurt yourself in confusion. Just hurt yourself in confusion and we'll be good. There'll be no problems. 
Yeah, I was right. Shadow Blitz really didn't do that much. So, hurt yourself? No, you use Scratch. You shouldn't use Scratch. Even though you really didn't do much. Astonish. Are you gonna be on Houndar? Okay. I'm, I'm getting this. I'm getting this down. Alright, so let's see. I'm gonna use Confusion on Lilip, and I'm just gonna use Ember on Anorith, and then I hope that Confusion can take it down. I'm really hoping it can. Ah, oh, so close. So close. That's okay. That's okay. Houndar has got this Ember uh, down for Anorith, and Anorith is gonna go down in Jeffy, so it's no big deal. Espeon gained 165 experience points. Lilip use Acid. Ew, you know, normally, realistically, if I was to be hit by an acid, you know, my body would be no more. But this is Pokemon, and if you get hit by acid, oh, it's just a poison type move. It's not going to do anything else. Yeah, but if it hit the human, I'm pretty sure his body would just, you know, disintegrate and be no more. That's Pokemon. Just imagine Pokemon actually being real, which we all hope it would. And then you just have a random Charizard just using Flamethrower, it just happens to burn a forest down and that would be uh that, that would be quite the uh, experience there for a firefighter to actually go fight that fire all you want to do is work on your research then why did you turn around and disturb me hypocrite um okay well, yeah we're set i don't even know why i checked my pokemon anyway we're stopped by this uh second second third uh cypher peon here in this lab cypher peon next year why did, what does that sound like a car that sounds like a car brand we got lexus we got like Nissan, you'd like put them together or something like that, like next year. It's weird. Alright, so um, these upcoming battles are actually going to be uh, important later on. Like, you know, starting as of right, right now, uh, as we progress through this little mystery facility, these uh, battles do get a little bit more important. Uh, you have to battle them, and this is that's exactly why I'm not speeding anything up, is because uh, it's kind of important to the... Uh, you know the game itself. Uh, the reason why is be uh, because of this one, this Spinarak. Uh, why do you why do you ask? Well, because it's a Shadow Pokemon. There's quite a few trainers up here that uh, have Shadow Pokemon that I need to catch and all that good stuff. So uh, now I use Ember for Houndar, and it's gonna take down the Swinub. No big deal since it's an Ice type. I'm sorry, Swinub. I like I like Mammal Swine a lot. When Pile of Swine was there, I didn't really think of anything like any good. Ooh, Reverse Mode. I didn't really think of anything great towards a Pile of Swine, but once Mammoth Swine was introduced for Generation 4, uh, I was just like, yo, this is legit. Like, Generation 4 had some really great Pokemon, especially when it comes to the Pokemon that, uh... Whoa. Well, I think Houndar is ready for purification. Before I get sidetracked again, you know, these Generation 4 Pokemon, like Electivire, Magmortar, Yanmega, Togekiss, uh, Mammoth Swine, all those Pokemon. Uh, you know, they just basically improved these previous generation Pokemon. I mean, not many people would use these certain type of Pokemon from, like, up to generation 4. Uh, and then once it's, when the new evolutions came out, everyone was like, Oh, yo, this is legit. This is so good. But, uh, anyway, I used Bite on Spinarak. Made it go to down, down that health. I'm gonna use a Pokeball. Hopefully, I can snag it in one shot. I really don't want to sit here all day and just have it pop out and pop out. But, um, we're pretty good so far. As I catch it right now, I caught it. Very, very good. Very, very good. Uh, I'm, so I'm sorry if I sound, like, a little bit off. If, I if, like, I'm stuttering or not enunciating at all. Um, the reason why is, like, I'm taking a summer class. Ooh, okay. How is ready for purification? Um, I am taking a summer class. I'm in college, you see. And, uh, I'm just trying to get ahead so I can graduate a little bit early. And I'm, it's just been here left and right. I'm trying to do all these things. And uh, I apologize if I'm not as clear or as proper or anything else as I should be as a Let's Player. Even though this is my first. So, anyway, we continue on. And here we go. We're cutting here. Please, Professor Crane, will you tell me about your purification study? I do so want to know. That will let me power my XD001. I so made it myself. Don't you think that would be fabulous? I'll tell you to be fabulous. Uh, anyway, this pink-haired anime-looking girl, uh, her name is Lavrina. Uh, the reason why I actually say her name before her name's actually introduced, well, you'll see the reason why if you actually do not know the game. 
Uh, for the people who do know the game, who've played this, who love this game as much as I do, uh, I don't know if I've said this before, probably the first, very first episode, this is basically like my favorite Pokemon game, probably one of my favorite games in, of all time. Uh, this is why I Let's Played it first, so I can share the love I have for it out here. Um, so, anyway, uh, we found out that Naps and Lavrina are actually siblings. Uh, I just wanted to sum that all up. And what happened there is that Lavrina was trying to use Professor Crane's intelligence to help her and the rest of Cypher with their, um... With their XD001 project. God, I can't think today. This is, this is why I apologized earlier. Anyway, Solox. That sounds really cool, honestly. I know I've said before that these Ori region names don't really have that much originality and, you know, they all suck. But Solox, I kind of like that. It sounds pretty cool. Like, some type of weird Final Fantasy character. That's what it sounds like. Uh, anyway, uh, Sfeel was able to learn Water Gun after its heart gauge level actually went up. So it is able to ruin Water Gun, so from time to time I will be able to use Water Gun. Alright, that's cool. So, Solox sounds out of Bagon. See, if only he would be able to train these certain Pokemon. Like, if he trained that Voltorb up, that would have been Electrode. Trained that Ralts up, it would have been a Gardevoir. Uh, you know, it's Bagon, a level 55. 50. 50 is when Shellgon evolves into Salamence. Salamence is a pseudo legendary. If I remember this correctly, Salamence is banned in uh, tournaments. Why did I use Bite? I didn't use- I didn't mean to use Bite. Man, I really can't think. I just have to think. But at least it took down the Bagon. I actually wanted to use Confusion, so that way it's a for sure you are going down. But, uh, anyway, we have this Nummel being sent out. And, uh, this Nummel is very important because this Nummel is a very, uh, very, very uh, good Shadow Pokemon here. Uh, Sonic Boom, okay. Let's see how much damage you do. Well, okay! That's fine. That's perfectly fine. Shadow Wave. I know you won't do much to Numo, but that's okay. Just kind of want to get down that Voltorb. I'm not... Ooh, a critical... That, that was a critical hit. Okay. Okay, game. Uh, let's see. Bite and... Water Gun. Yeah, I'm going to use Water Gun. See how much Bite does. Hopefully it doesn't... Okay, that's good. That's perfectly fine. That's a good enough damage for Numo to be caught. Sonic Boom. Go for Sfeel again, not Espeon, because you're awesome, and okay, good. I, I really need Espeon as of right now. Even though I got that revive, I kind of need Espeon. I don't really want to waste that revive up until uh, later uh, in this little lab thing. Water Gun didn't take it down. Lame. So lame. Um, So what I'm going to do, I'm going to try to catch Numo right now. Uh, Pokeball, sure, go ahead. Sfeel, Shadow Wave, let's do it. You got yourself one shake. Two shakes. Three shakes. We're not doing the Harlem Shake, by the way, and the Numo popped out. Tackle! Even though that's really not going to do much at all, since you're... Yeah, that really didn't do much at all. Uh, I should probably heal Sfeel. <laughs> heal Sfeel. I should probably heal Sfeel and, uh, you know, not, you know, not get crushed by Shadow Blitz. But I'm gonna heal Sfeel and then I'm gonna catch Numo again. I know that Voltorb will be going down from the Shadow Wave, so that's great. Uh, Numo's gonna be the only Pokemon left, so that's gonna be good. I did not notice that Voltorb is level 16. I really didn't. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna use Espeon's turn to catch the, you know, the, the Numo and I'm gonna use a potion. I'm not gonna use a super potion. Just a potion, it'll be fine. There we go. Alright, Numo, get in the ball. Because I say so. You shall get in the ball. You shall not pass, says every single Cypher Peon who has tried to ambush me. There we go. We caught Numo. Very, very good. Cypher Peon Solox. I'm sorry, if I actually... It just sounds really cool. Calm down, please, and then leave quietly. Well, I'm not going to leave quietly. I'm just sneaking around. So, um, you're the only one who's trying to get rid of me here. Um, I should probably heal Espeon and Sfeel, so I'm just going to use all my potions left, whatever I have. Uh, that's good, and then one more. One more is fine. Alright, we're set. We are set, people! Alright, so let's try to go further on, and we're stopped by another one? No, oh, no, we're not. See, this is why I try to overpredict. I can't really do it that well. Uh, so instead of going over to the left, I'm gonna go up this elevator. 
because there's something a little important. You gotta heal yourself a healing machine. Uh, I don't even know why I used the potions. I could have just healed right there. Hold it if you want to. Oh yeah, no, I, I pressed A before I could finish reading. And then we go back to Digger or Diger, whatever that's <laughs> some weird, stupid name. So apparently, there's gonna be a really important item in that chest that he doesn't want us to open. And uh, maybe this item could be really helpful as we go on through the lab to get Professor Crane. So I'm gonna use Confusion and then Shadow Wave, and because that Machop may uh, use like low kick or karate chop on this field and I don't want that to happen. Since Espeon's kind of fast and its special attack is ridiculous. Plus its confusion is really OP as of right now because I'm just overpowering all these Pokemon. So use Reflect. I really don't expect, expect that to be much of use to you. Unless Houndour was out then it would be a little bit different. But anyway Shadow Wave is used. Uh, these Pokemon are Kind of weak. I mean, the Abra has really, really crappy uh, defense and special defense, but special attack and speed is ridiculous. Um, I'm gonna use Confusion and use Shadow Wave again because the next Pokemon that's gonna be sent out, I have no idea what it is, honestly. So uh, hopefully the Shadow Wave can do a good enough damage. Sorry, Phoebus. Uh, yeah, another thing like my is kind of like one of my favorite Pokemon of all time. I kind of have like a list of like the Pokemon that are my favorite in a certain order. And Milotic happens to be number six. Why would you use Ice Punch on a Sphiel? Weirdos. Anyway, uh, Shadow Wave. Once again, I wish Sphiel can learn like Body Slam or something like that. Because if I remember correctly, uh, as it you know as its heart gets going up, it does learn Body Slam uh, sooner or later. So, up until then, I'm just gonna be using Shadow Wave and hardly any time Water Gun because Water Gun didn't really do that much on that Voltorb. Anyway, Makuhira, poor Makuhira didn't do a single thing. Uh, Espeon's getting really powerful, holy crap. Alright. Thunder Punch. Hey, you're a little bit smarter, though. Alright, okay, okay, good god! <laughs> we don't want my spill going down, I kinda need it. Even though it is a healing machine, I just kinda want you to get some little experience before you purify. Alright. Alright. Player defeat Cyber Peon Digger. <laughs> Digger. Take whatever you want, but please leave me alone. You're the one- I swear to god, all these freaking cyber peons are hypocrites. But anyway, um, there's an important item in here. Is there? Is there? Is there? Not really, it's an ether. It's just an ether. Uh, I'm just gonna heal up my Pokemon real quick. Ding, 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 ding. That's okay. Um, let's see. Like, okay, so Espeon's level 19. Ooh, Teddy Ursa has an item. Full heal, that'll be useful. How much left is Poochyen and... Okay. Alright, yeah, I'm not even training you guys, so it really doesn't matter. Alright, anyway. Now we're gonna go down this elevator, and we're gonna go to the left, like Beyonce. So we go to the left, and this is the Cypher Peon I was trying to uh, talk about in the, the little level. But, um, anyway. Cypher Peon Crink. What the heck is Crink? What kind of a name is that? I swear to God. I mean, like, you know... The previous generations, not not like Pokemon, but like these people's previous generation, like the family line, like everyone from the older generation, just like of the Aura region, just got in a group together and just like decided going through the alphabet and just, you know, combining a bunch of letters to create names. And apparently Crink is one of them. So he must have really had a hard, hard time in like high school or something. There's not even a school in an Aura region. Actually, no, oh, I stand corrected. There's kind of one. There's kind of a school. Anyway, Shadow Wave is going to be used. Barboach. Well, I, I like to call her Barbitch. Because that's just. <laughs> that's kind of what it is. It's just a bitch. It's, it's just Barbitch. Anyway, Confusion is going to take it down. All that good stuff. Alright, there we go. Espeon gain all that good experience. We defeat a Cyber Peon Crink. There's nothing cute about you, Brad. Are you gay? Man, you have a weird name and you're gay. Goodness. Don't call me cute. I'm the only one who can call myself cute. But uh, I am going to end the episode. Ep episode. I'm going to end the episode off right here. <laughs> I'm going to end the episode off right here. In the next episode, we're going to try to rescue Professor Crane. And we're also going to try to escape with him. 
Plus, I plan on purifying Houndar and hopefully Sveal if it gets to that time. But uh, hopefully you guys can stay tuned in next time. Make sure to leave yourself a like here, comment, and also subscribe, which is the subscribe button is down below. And I will see you guys in the next episode.